All right, guys, today we're working on a 2013 GMC Sierra, and we're talking about stain removal uh, in more specific terms, the pH scale, and where you need to go to get certain stains out. Now, what people will do when they find a stain is they'll hit it with an all-purpose cleaner. The problem with that is that all-purpose cleaners are high in pH. So if you've got a stain that is high in pH, you're going to lock those bonds in, and there's going to be no way to get that stain out. The only way you're going to have to do it to get it out is to either dye the carpet or hope that it's a floor mat and just throw the floor mat away because you have locked those bonds in. Now what you need to do is you need to basically balance the pH in the actual fiber. So if you have a stain that is high in pH, which would be alkalinic or, or base, you would use an acidic product to then balance that out. The same goes for the other side. If you have a stain that's um, low in pH that's acidic, you would need to put a base on top of it. This, you need to use a base cleaner to get that stain out. So I want to show you something real quick because I've actually got two different types. Right here is, because uh, I talked to the customer about it because I didn't know, and if you don't know what a stain is, use a little test spot and uh, always use uh, uh, an all-purpose cleaner just to, just to test um, if it's a Terran stain, that's how you should always address every stain. If you don't know what it is, if it's an unknown stain, the customer doesn't know what it is, address it as a Terran stain and use an all-purpose cleaner. But just use a little test spot, don't do a lot, uh, and see if those stains come out. So this is coffee, okay? So coffee, what we're going to do to get this stain out is um, we're going to use a base product, okay? That's how we're going to get this stain out because this is high in pH. We need to balance it. Or I'm sorry, this is low in pH, so we need to use a base to balance this out. This is rust spots, okay? This is high in pH, so we need to use an acidic uh, per, uh, cleaner to get this and balance this out. So two different types of stains, two different types of chemicals, and two different ways of addressing it. So uh, I just wanted to show you that this is just a great example of um, two different stains that need to be addressed two different ways. Um, and so uh, I'm going to show you what this looks like afterwards, um, but we've talked about the pH scale and uh, hopefully this gives you a good idea uh, that all nuts, uh, all stains are not treated the exact same. And when it comes to the actual chemistry of uh, some stains, uh, you have to you have to know your pH scale. It's very important in the detailing world. All right, so I'm working on the coffee stain, and I've only been working on it for a few seconds. I just I just wanted to show you um, how well this is coming out because I've got the uh, the right product that I'm using. So I've only been working on this for a few seconds. You know how how black it was. And all I did was just kind of, uh, I just put it in the, the carpet, and then I'm, all I'm doing is just kind of agitating the fibers. I'm not even actually steam cleaning this one. Um, but I'm going to steam it just to get, uh, I'm going to steam it because I'm steaming the whole interior because that's what the customer wanted. And then uh, I'm just going to get all this residue off and uh, all the, the soap and stuff like that. But look how well this has came out just, uh, just because, you know, the right stain uh, treatment. So this is what it looks like. All I do, put the product on the carpet, agitate it a little bit, and look, it even looks brighter than the uh, than the soiled carpet. So, so uh, just like that. Now, if I would have put that all-purpose cleaner, I'm using all ammo products, of course. So I'm using the uh, the ammo all-purpose citrus cleaner. If I would have put it on here, it would have locked this stain in. I would have never been able to get it out. So just the importance of, of the differences. So this was a coffee stain. Okay, we used it with a, uh, a citrus cleaner because it's uh, the uh, Product was uh, acidic, so we used a, ba uh, a base product. This is uh, a base. We're going to use an acidic product on it. So. All right, now here you have it, guys. Here was the coffee stain. There was the rust stain. Two different kinds of stains. Got them both out.